So I thought we should be out here in the forest in the beautiful nature of Sweden and record a dope b-roll sequence using nothing but my smartphone. So most of you that are watching this probably do have a smartphone or something like the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S10 like I do. This can shoot in full HD in 240 frames per second, which is kind of cool. So it's going to give us that like B-roll look with kind of a steady, steady camera because you can like slow that down and add some stabilization in Final Cut Pro. But I thought I'd show you the whole process of shooting a B-roll with the phone here in the forest. <laughs> So usually what I do is that I try to find some kind of details that is going to be interesting for the b-roll sequence to have as I am looking around in the forest. And when I'm looking around, we can see the stump here. This is kind of kind of interesting. It looks kind of kind of like worn out with this part here and the moss on top. So this this we're gonna include. And if we keep looking, we can also see that there's this super tiny waterfall here that like super small river it looks really interesting that is also something that we can include we can also include some of the barks uh, here on the trees and hopefully just hopefully the Sun is gonna come through the trees right here somewhere and then we can get the Sun flare coming out from that as well uh, but those are a couple of things that I think of like straight up that we can include in the b-roll sequence so let's get to shooting the actual b-roll sequence all right let's uh, let's open up the camera app here and in the camera app you want to make sure that you have it set to slow motion and then basically just tap where you want the focus to be and then keep recording let's start with the stump eh oh, oh my legs I feel like an old man Hmm, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to rethink this. I'm basically do, like moving back and forth a lot of times to make sure that I get the shot. So just move the camera back and forth and try to keep it as steady as you can. Try to move like close to the ground. That actually looks really, really good. So uh, let's move on to the next thing. We're gonna try to get a detailed shot of these kind of like stumps, tree stumps. What, what do you call these? Is this like three, this is not branches or is it like cut down branches? <laughs> what is it? What do you call these? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these things, we're gonna call them things. But we're gonna get, try to get shot of these because this, these can be interesting, you know, to get that forest feeling. When you're having a cell phone, you don't want to do too much movement in your shots because that is not going to look good because it's going to look way too shaky. So try to hold your camera like this with four fingers and then basically just move and try to pan at the same time as you're moving. And you can also do like some tilting if you want to do that because that is probably going to look good as well. Uh, but I feel kind of satisfied with that. So let's try to get the, uh, the small river here as well. Let's see if we can get as close to the water as possible when we're getting this shot. Yeah. I feel like the seal on the beach. I really hope that I do get some good footage out of this. Okay. All right. I think we got the shot. I'm down. I gotta die. I'm also gonna get a shot of uh, the camera like panning around like this because that is a really cool shot especially when it comes to like forests because it feels immersive. Spin slowly. Okay that looked great so now we're gonna get a sequence of me looking up towards the trees 
so we get that like natural progression to the shot that we got up towards the trees. I think that looks good. Look at that. That. Oh. 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 Ho, ho, ho. That's the money shot right there. The absolute last shot that I want to have is me walking out of the forest to make like the whole uh, b-roll sequence feel like it's coming to an end. This looks really really good so I'm just gonna put the camera right here and then I'm gonna walk towards that. Okay there we go now I'm just gonna walk away. And we're done. Okay, let's go back to the office and edit. All right, back to the office. Feels great. Eh? I don't know. I don't know why I'm speaking Irish or I don't know what that was. Let's open up all the footage in Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how I edited that sequence together. Okay, so the first clip that we are going to use is going to be the one of the tree stump here. So we're going to drag this to the timeline. And then we're gonna, like, when we are starting to pan, we're gonna cut it. So we press B for the blade tool. And then we hit A, select, backspace, delete that. We don't want to have that. And then we want to slow this clip down because we shot everything in 120 frames per second, as you remember. And then we're gonna mark this and then we're gonna choose custom and 20%. So now that we've played back, you can see that it looks really good. It looks kind of steady as well. So I don't know if we're going to add some stabilization to this. But the clip doesn't have to be longer than maybe like two or three seconds. So we're going to cut the clip at three seconds to begin with, I think. So we're going to hit the B for the blade tool. And then we're going to cut it. We're going to mark the rest of the clip and hit backspace. The second clip that we're going to use is going to be where I look around in the forest, basically, and you have the sun coming in the back and it looks really, really good. So we're going to drag this to the timeline like that. And uh, the phone didn't really rotate. So we're going to have to do that by ourselves. And we're going to mark the clip. We're going to go up here to the transform. And then we're going to choose the rotation and hit minus 90. And then we want to make the clip bigger, so we're going to drag it up on the scale to 180. And then we want to slow the clip down. So we're going to slow, choose custom and 20%. This is not going to be longer than like two or three seconds. So we're going to cut it at six seconds like that. Maybe we can take the next clip is gonna be when like we pan on the trees. I think that is gonna fit good into here. So we're gonna choose that one. And the same thing here, we wanna slow this down. Mark this, which we're gonna choose custom. Again, 20%. I think you know by now, so I don't have to say it. And then we can add a speed ramp here. So shift B at the playhead and then go forward somewhere around here shift b and we're going to choose fast times eight so perfect perfect and now i want to have a clip of the water so we're going to choose this oh, that is a good sequence so we're going to choose this one and we're going to drag it to the timeline slowing this down so we're going to go back to the beginning and then we're going to include the clip of the uh, tree bark that i shot as well and then we're going to drag this just after the first clip that we got and slow this down as well okay let's do a speed ramp here Shift B and then move forward to somewhere around here just so that we can see the sun. Now we have my face, looks good. We have the forest up, spinning around, the water, and then we can finish this sequence off by me walking away into the forest, all right? And since all the clips have some kind of motion in them, the last clip feels a little bit out of place, but we're gonna add some fake motion to it so that it feels more dynamic. So what you wanna do is go up to the transform tab and then you wanna go in just a little bit. 
till I say 120 and then we're gonna drag the position X to the right to minus 185 then we want to set a keyframe so that when we move forward to somewhere around here you want to set this to zero and we can play that back and see how it looks a nice dynamic motion going on here in the last clip too and of course we're gonna add the anamorphic bars so let's do that by choosing the generators and then choose custom we're gonna drag this to the timeline and just extend it all the way that our clip is playing and then we're gonna choose crop top crop top 960 and then we're gonna hold alt drag this out and then we're gonna reset the top one like that and then go to the bottom one and type 960 there as well and now we got ourselves a really cool b-roll sequence that is shot entirely on a smartphone that looks like this I hope that you enjoyed this video because this video is something that I planned on shooting a long time but I actually thought it was gonna be way harder than it was because shooting that b-roll was really really simple actually and uh, you know I really hope that you feel more confident in taking your cell phone go out shoot some great content create some dope b-rolls with that because I mean come on this camera that you always carry with you right Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up because it does make a huge difference. If you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be really appreciated as well. If there is any kind of camera gear that you wanna buy, I would appreciate it if you bought it through the affiliate links below because that helps support me and this channel to create even better content and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So thank you for that as well. Until next time, take care, I suppose. I wonder if I can do a couple of American accents, let's see. The only accent that I really know in the USA is basically this one. And I don't know what, if this is an accent, I don't know, but, and, um, you know, this, uh, this Elvis Presley accent. And I guess y'all can speak in, I guess y'all can speak in Texan, right? Is that an accent? I think that is an accent in the United States of America. I don't know. Is it? <laughs>